Okay, cliff jumping's not all about technical stuff. This is a little challenge. I'm gonna try and jump down into this waterfall. It's a pretty narrow gap, but here we go. Three, two, one. Send it. Okay, introduction. Hi, my name is Ellie Smart. And I'm Owen Weymouth. And we're professional cliff divers. Time for an epic cliff diving adventure with the cliff diving couple. What's the throwback of this place knows? What happened here? Emerald Pools is my favorite place in the whole world, probably for cliff diving. It's where I did my first ever high dive. It was a double half and it was like, I stood on the edge of, cliff, edge of the cliff and I was just like, if I can do this, I can be a Red Bull diver. And if I don't do it, well, this dream isn't gonna happen. We're gonna jump off that same cliff today and um, I'm excited. So it's a little hike down there, right? Yeah, so I've been like so many times, but I never get it right. So we're gonna get there eventually. So Els, the last time when you walked down this path four years ago, ready for your first 20 meter cliff dive, what was going through your head? I was so nervous. I like couldn't even think. I was just like, Mm, kind of like the feeling I get when I'm like at an actual Red Bull competition, like where you want to do so well. But instead of wanting to do so well at a competition, I just wanted to like do it. Like, you know, like I didn't know I was capable of doing it. So it was like terrifying. I was like, am I going to like know where I am in the air? Am I going to get lost? Am I going to land okay? Is it going to hurt really bad? It was like so many questions, but it's like, I like set this goal to be a Red Bull diver and it was like time to go, like see if it could happen. Yeah. And well, Rest is history. Four years later. Well, this is why it's called Emerald Pools, right? Look at that green water. Ooh, that's a big cliff. Ready? See you at the bottom, ready? Three, two, one. We might be all good. It's freaking cold in here. God, if you have a wet uh, I was seeing that dive again, though. Could literally get emotional but like this spot is so so special to me and so like surreal and like i will come back here for the rest of my life and i'll take my kids and i'll teach them their first cliff jump here because it really it's such a perfect place to learn but also just such a sentimental place for me personally and there she is goliath 20 meter dive all right, Ellie, where are we today? We are at Woodward Tahoe today, and this is like where I got started in cliff diving and started all my training when really just being a Red Bull cliff diver was a dream and nowhere near a reality. Fun to be back here and get to jump around and kind of do the same things that I did when I was like, dreaming of getting where I am today, honestly. It's it's awesome. Yes! <laughs> Bone can hurt sometimes though, you gotta be careful. Yeah. So when Owen and I come to a trampoline park like this, 
and we're training for cliff diving. Our approaches to training are like literally polar opposite. Owen shows up and just messes around, no plan, no anything, does this, then does that, then jumps off the ramp, then jumps on the trampoline, then he's in the foam pit, and I like come in and I have like my workout written out, like I'm gonna do 10 front flips, 10 back flips, 10 front twisters, and then- Are you calling me an immature athlete? I don't know, I'm just saying we're very different athletes when we come to a place like this and we train. It's yeah, we not the same. So when I was a little fanboy of the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series and I dived in England myself, it was my dream to be a cliff diver. You're not old enough to be in the series yet, but make sure you do 100 Baranis on the trampoline every day. Get that one skill dialed in, it's gonna help you in the future. And that's what I did. And I'm about to go do some now. I still do them. <laughs> Let's see your brownie. Okay, so once you've learned and nailed the brownie, the next step is to put the brownie into a harder trick. And normally for most people, that's a double half is the first one. So you're doing a front double with a half twist. So you're gonna do a front flip. You're gonna come out, look at the foam pit and do a half twist. I've been working on getting um, a back twist, the same back twist as Ree and Jackie and now Iris. So the back triple double. I actually usually do the back double triple, so uh, an extra twist and one less flip. And now I'm trying to switch it around and do one more flip and one less twist. And so how I actually learned it was like at places like this, trampoline parks, getting comfortable with that twist, come out and dig and doing all these different drills. So we're gonna do a bunch of those things today and, and start moving and getting it in our head that we're gonna learn these new dives. Woodward doesn't just have trampolines. I'm gonna hit a mega ramp on a scooter for the first ever time. It's an extreme sport that I'm not familiar with. This is scarier than 27 meter diving, for sure. I'm so scared to ride down this ramp on a scooter. Ready for this bumpy road, oh? It's day three, our last day here out in California. And this is one of my favorite parts about Ooh. cliff exploring bumpy, freaking oh, road. My goodness. So many potholes. Look at this. When I first heard of Ellie Smart, it was via an Instagram direct message that she sent me. She was like, hey, Owen, how you doing? Like, I'm a cliff diver. I'm actually not, but I want to be a rebel cliff diver. Can I come to England to train with you? And I was like, who is this girl? So I looked her up on Instagram, and the most recent video that she posted was right here at this bridge. And the river was flowing at about 50 miles an hour. It looked like if you jumped in that kind of water, you might just die. But she was jumping headfirst into it and having a good old laugh in the heart of winter. So now... Yeah, the last time I was here, it was absolutely freezing. It was the middle of winter. It actually was snowing when I jumped off this bridge. And yeah, it's not as much fun. So the water here around the Tahoe area is very cold all the time. So I'm sending the boys in to do the depth checking and I am supervising right now because I'm trying to stay warm as long as possible. <laughs> My girl 
girlfriend is genuinely so nutty. Like, look what I'm walking on. I'm walking on the thinnest bit of bridge and either side of me is dro dropping in the water or dropping on the bridge and she was doing this in the heart of winter at minus 10 degrees. What a buffoon. <laughs> You know, if you are an amateur cliff diver, this is pretty much the place to learn cliff diving, right? This is like actually the <laughs> like most fun place because it's, it's not like awkward between high, between being like regular diving and high diving, right? It's that like, you know, 15 meter fine line. So it's like not quite as scary, but scarier than what you would normally do. So it's like perfect for like getting a lot of reps in and playing around with different things and just like having fun. 